Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and today I'm coming to you from the Brightline Station in Aventura, Florida. It is five o'clock in the morning. And why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this because I'm headed up to Orlando to get on the Carnival, um, ju uh, not Jubilee, Carnival Mardi Gras for the first time. And I'm doing this whole thing, I'm doing the Mardi Gras and I'm doing it back to back with my old favorite ship, but you know, I did it over the summer, so it's a little busier. The carnival celebration, we're in balconies on both rooms, so I want you to come along as we uh, have a cele no, a Mardi Gras celebration. Uh, back to back, side to side, I don't know that this is something anybody's ever done before. So I'm gonna take this train, it's five o'clock in the morning, I'm going to take the Bright Line all the way up to Orlando, jump on the Mardi Gras, and then uh, come back down and go on the celebration. So. Come along with me, join along with me. We got premium, we're gonna see what's going on. I will see you train side, then Orlando side, then Mardi Gras side, then we're going to Kennedy Space Center, then we're gonna do some other stuff before we take the train back, train back, and then right on to celebration. I know it's crazy. Stay tuned, plenty of videos to come. This is just the first of many of our Mardi Gras celebration for 100,000, not 100,000, goddamn, huh, I wish, 10,000 subscribers. Sorry if I said that wrong before. We'll see. So we are in the Brightline train station and through security. This is the normal area where you would uh, wait for your train nice and modern and everything like that. They got bathrooms. They've got to, uh, oh, they, they have a bar set up for later in the day where they sell alcohol, but don't worry. We got that included. Uh, our train is uh, still on time. 6.04 a.m. They've got this really cool little market where what you do is you tap in with your with your card. Huh? Wait. Let's see if we can do that. And then you go in, you take anything you want, and it gets automatically charged to you. There's a whole network of cameras up here that's watching what's going on. Thing is, we don't really have to worry about that. See, these Pringles are $2.50. We went premium. So since we went premium, we've got an entire premium lounge right here that I will show you and what you've got to do is you've got to scan in to the premium lounge again they've got a, a bar getting ready it is uh, currently 521 in the morning so you've got this premium lounge and you just take the gates right there scan your enter so they have a non-alcoholic site and an alcoholic site it's 521 a.m. somewhere and 521 p.m. somewhere so we got crackers gummies pop tarts we should have uh, actually a hot breakfast on board the train but they got a cold breakfast this is pepsi so we're headed to the carnival ships uh, which are all pepsi so i don't think i'm gonna get coke for a long long while so ew, just saying but uh come on you know this channel we're not here for that side we're here for this side and the healthy bananas if you've watched the chili challenge um i need my potassium but no it is uh, definitely wine o'clock somewhere and they have land shark beer and you just snap in i can't say this is the uh, jimmy buffett beer can't say i've had this sober before first drink of the day a land shark beer tastes like Bud Light. no no I'm gonna switch back to Stella as soon as I can. God, that's awful. But you don't let beer go wasted. All right, so I made myself a uh, bagel and cream cheese. Here, I already downed a rosé wine. So I've had, a, so far, I've had the uh, Land Shark beer and a rosé wine. Don't love wine. Let's go with the, uh, one of these guys here. A Stella Artois. Might go well with my bagel. Uh, one of the great things about premium is, um, <laughs> there's, if, if you're watching this carnival specific, there's no 15 drink a day limit. I'm enjoying my bagged bagel. Heat it up, they have a toaster. And they have regular cream cheese and strawberry cream cheese. The strawberry is better. Mm. But, uh, I think it's Stella time. Nothing like, nothing like a Stella. A bag bagel 
with two different types of cream cheese at 5.33 in the morning. In about 15 minutes, we've got to start heading out to the actual train. So um, I'll take you with me there. But I do have, nice thing is you don't got to worry about weighing your bag. I'm taking the train from home and then back to home. So I've got uh, two carry-ons and a checked suitcase there. I don't got to worry about the bag uh, being overweight because I don't care on the train. At least here, who knows when I get to Orlando. Uh, but here, just walking on and off the train. And I don't think they do luggage service here. So if I'm going back from Orlando to here, I think I'm just walking on the train. Again, we've got all kinds of snacks. We could take them on the train, but they have them on the train. And the cool thing they have on the train too is they have cocktails. So we're gonna do a full tasting of the cocktails because of course we are. I mean, even if it's six o'clock in the morning, I don't give a shit. De la trois. And also, of course, I've got the breathalyzer. Because it's no fun without one. Stay tuned. <coughs> Little beer barb. 5.34 a.m. Headed up to Port Canaveral well, via uh, the Orlando International Airport. That's where the Bright Line Station is. Showing you the train coming and to going. And uh, the first class experience. Stay tuned. All right, so it's not even the 6 o'clock in the morning. It's 5.54 a.m. I've already had two beers, two wines. This is my fifth drink here just in the uh no one's watching they have one of these things let me show you what they got they got one of those uh licenses from the department of business and alcohol beverage and tobacco but as long as you scan in here you're over 21 years old you're golden um look between land shark miller light and uh stella stella's the winner Good. They're gonna call us for the train in like three minutes time because this is the station the train stops at for like 14 seconds. No, it stops for like a minute. So you gotta get on, get your ass in the train, and get moving. And I got three big bags, but we are going all the way. This is one of the first trains back to Orlando. And look, you can start trading stocks and to enter and go. Use code Brightline. Don't do that. I like the Game Stoppers will hate me. I like Robin Hood. It's got a beautiful interface. And it's there it is. There's the announcement. You know what that means? It means the train will be a platform in approximately eight minutes. So we gotta get there and get headed to Orlando International Airport. Don't worry. I'll bring you the drinks on board. Stay tuned. So the murder train is coming. Uh, we're actually going, uh, after Hurricane Milton, we are going to Orlando. I am so surprised this is actually here. Uh, they're actually adding an additional coach of uh, both, uh, that's smart service, that's the uh, coach. 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 We don't do coach though, we're going first class. I need to figure out what the hell my, my seat is. I'm riding all the way to Orlando. Uh, I'm in 15 seat. That is the wrong, and this is the princess branded one. So this is technically Carnival branded, just Carnival's better bougie brand. The problem is they, they didn't move it up all the way to get the first class car in. So we're just gonna go in the, we're gonna go in the shitty class. We're gonna have to walk through it, but this is the, uh, princess.com slash brightline on princess they'll actually bring your bags all the way but yeah this is the princess themed train taking us up to the carnival celebration i'm cool with it you cool with it stay tuned all right so unfortunately we're getting on they're making us walk we gotta go on the way coach one through coach two all right aventura station's not big enough all right Opa. So we're in the premium coach, the, uh, this is the coach coach, I think the coach coach is the right name. Better to uh, 15 one, which I think is literally all the way at the front slash back of the train. We're going to wait for them to get all their bags up because I can't really pass before that. Um, but yeah, they have over storage. We've got Fort Lauderdale, Boca, West Palm Beach, and then Orlando. But we are on board. Again, you can buy drinks and stuff. Coach. Thanks, eh? Mm -hmm. 
before we start moving. Got but it's about a three hour and nine minute ride from here to Orlando. It's a Book of Mormon joke, but uh, we're leaving coach and we shall go. Oh, we're on bright orange. That's my favorite color is orange. You just can't tell it's orange because they wrapped it in a princess logo. Oh, that might be where I am. And we are moving. I'll give it a minute. Take a seat in a moment's time. But we are moving. We are headed to... We are headed to Orlando. And again, another Book of Mormon reference. But if you got... Oversized bags, you just pop it in the oversized bag compartment there, and this is my seat. Got a table, welcome aboard, and everything like that. Take a moment to familiarize and this is the old uh, and hold on. exit information located in the seat back pocket in front of you. Your train attendants will be with you momentarily for food and beverage service. Bienvenido a bordo. Tómese un momento para familiarizarse con la información de seguridad y salida de emergencia ubicada en el bolsillo del respaldo del asiento frente a usted. So, el personal a bordo estará con usted en un momento the para servir de la name for this bright line was Virgin Trains and that's the same voice that actually does all the announcements on Virgin Voyages. Kind of fun, but uh, yeah, so we are now headed to Orlando. Three minutes, oh no, three minutes, three hours and nine minutes away. And we got a table with plugs and everything. I'm taking my stuff on the table. We have to stop in Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach. Uh, no, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, West Palm Beach. And then we're headed to Orlando. Stay tuned. All right, so I covered this in shorts, but um, not in longs yet. Uh, we've got, oh, we got spicy margaritas. We've got Chobani yogurt and we've got disposable plasticware. We are now in Fort Lauderdale. We've got Fort Lauderdale, Boca, West Palm Beach, and then West Palm Beach is where we start our like two hour and a half journey to Orlando. Uh, and it doesn't really go fast until we get to the place that has no crossings whatsoever, but uh, we've got one. Before I get a seat, mate, I'm gonna finish my spicy margaritas. These are canned drinks, but they, they kick. Like I said earlier, they got 90 minute IPA. So, um, yeah, that'll fuck you up. For those of you wondering, yeah, the breathalyzer is with me. This yeah, is the cop. Whole, Another cop. According to Fort Lauderdale stop. This is going to be a quick two-minute stop. Got some Chobani yogurt. Please watch your Greek yogurt with strawberry. I'm fucked up enough. This is uh, eight drinks in like an hour and a half. We good. We'll see you. Let you know what's coming up next. Oh, God. I'm going to have to blow in a minute. Please stay tuned. All right, so we are about to leave the second to last stop before Orlando. Um, we are in Boca Raton where all the New Yorkers come to die. Uh, that's Boca Raton. Mm. It's a good beer. Dogfish head. Citrus squall, 8%. I zoomed in because my eyes would not. Um, we got West Palm Beach. And then after West Palm Beach, you know where we're headed to? The Book of Mormon place. Orlando. So yeah, this is Boca Raton. We're headed out there. Again, this is one of the only like private operated train lines, which we're gonna do once we make sure no one's here for the two hour ride. Like no one's, when I say here, I mean here. We're gonna do a whole financial review of Brightline. Because why? Because we are. That's why. Um, Good morning on Brightline oh. guests. Welcome aboard Bright Orange. Hmm. For the sake and comfort of our guests, please Citrus adhere squall. to all posted signs. It's good. On the final policy. So some of you might be wondering how fast Brightline goes. We are between uh, the uh, Boca station and the Palm Beach station and we are going 78, 79 miles an hour. There's still crossings here for like car.
cars and shit. Uh, we're gonna go a lot faster once we leave West Palm Beach and we take that turn to go to the west towards Orlando. But you'll see, uh, we're going uh, relatively fast now. In a good way. 78 miles an hour. That's good speed. I'll take it. Our next stop is uh, is West Palm Beach, and then the next stop after that's like two hours and a half to Orlando. It's 7:08 a.m. I think we're gonna get there about 9:30 with the delays. So, uh, eh, two hours and 20 minutes to Orlando. 79. We're going real fast. That's all I can say. All right, so we are at West Palm Beach now. That is the last stop before the two hours. 10 minutes to Orlando. The train is headed to north to Orlando. I think we're gonna make it. Then it's like 45 minutes from Orlando to the uh, the port where the Carnival Mardi Gras gets on. And I don't have a seatmate yet, which is great. Which means I can do a whole review on the financial performance of Brightline. Cause that's one of those things like, I read the document last night and I'm like, I kinda wanna do that. Especially a little drunk. Nine drinks done. Once we get out, we're gonna go 10, 11, 12, 13, who knows? I think we hit 15 drinks on this fucking train. We're at nine. Welcome oh. aboard. Your train attendants will begin food and beverage service. Oh, food service. Please review the menu. We're at nine. There's no menu. There's no menu, but we're pulling out of Palm Beach, you know what that means? That means I have no seat mate, which means let's double, let's, uh, let's order some double pineapple margaritas because, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, spicy margaritas put us at 11. Yeah. Then we'll get the camera stand out and we'll talk about, uh, Brightline's financial performance because they're public about that because they have public bonds on them and I want to talk about Brightline's financial performance. I know that sounds insane, but uh, we are moving. And that means no one is getting off between West Palm Beach here and Orlando. If you've not seen the Book of Mormon, definitely see the Book of Mormon. Because Orlando, that's where they think they're going before they're going to Africa. Hasadiva Ivawai. The sun has Welcome come to up. Please secure oh. larger bags. And secure larger bags. We're good. We're riding it all the way to the end. To Orlando. Orange. Yeah, Brightline Orange and the Princess Train. How can we be better than that? Stay tuned. All right, so we're above Palm Beach County right now, and literally before Palm, after Palm Beach County, before Orlando, there's a swamp lands here. You'll see. We're going north. I got my Pringles. I got another beer. I got a sweet muffin. On my YouTube channel. We're going completely north. Um, we need to go to the west to make it to Orlando. But look, just pure swamp plants. It's a great ride. It's smooth. Feels like a bullet train. Almost. Hold on. How fast are we going? Oh, okay. Let's see. How fast are we going? 109 miles an hour. We get to 125 on their own tracks. We're not there yet. We're still sharing these tracks with the freight train, but uh, 109 ain't too bad at all. Uh, which means we could do, uh, what we could do, 15, 16 miles an hour more. But uh, 109 is about where we're gonna top out for this section of track, which is going north. But again, when we start going west, we gotta go west. A couple more beers to go. I gotta drink a muffin. My uh, Pringles are empty. My uh, gummies I held, and they said, you know what they told me? They said they don't have Pop Tarts on the train because all the train attendants were eating the Pop Tarts. So only Pop Tarts in the station. So I know that from now on. Take the Pop Tarts in the station. There we go. We're going fast as hell. When we turn, we might talk about Brightline's business model. A little drunk. But uh, that'll be another video entirely. So um, look at what's been going on in Brightline for the past uh, past year, which is really interesting how they've changed from Miami to uh, from uh, Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County to an Orlando, a long haul um, run. So uh, we'll stay for that one for now. A muffin I gotta eat. If I can make more snacks, I'll eat the muffin. 
Hudson's Money the Muffin. Just saying. But what we're waiting for is right now we're going north. We're waiting for that turn that's going west to Orlando. Personally, I'd love to go north because that gets me to Canaveral easier. But uh, we're going to take that west turn. And uh, the sun is up, and you can see there's literally this is all going to be houses in about 15 years. It's all going to be houses because everyone wants to live in Florida. No state sales tax, good Republican governor. Just stay. All this undeveloped land is about to become developed, even it's next to a fast ass bright line track. I, I buy land there for maybe 50 grand, not more than that. Just saying, but nobody lives here in between Palm Beach and Orlando. Oh, Stewart is where the turn is. Uh, yeah, we'll call it Stewart a little bit, but that's where there was originally going to be a station. But yeah, you see that we've got the uh, power there. It's got normal USB, it's got power. And I've got my USB power station there in my MacBook Pro, and I'm going to plug in my iPhone. In just a second, time, I'm going to turn this off. Stay tuned, we got a couple more drinks to go. Hold on. Ooh. That beer is empty, you know what that means? Drink 11. Coming soon. So we are slowing to a halt right now. And you might say, hey, why are we slowing to a halt? Uh, because, here's the thing. There's very few tracks that go east to west. I mean, there's, there's one set of tracks. And uh, we're going down to 14 miles an hour because we're going north to south. If we click up the compass, oh, C O M, we should still be going north. We have to go to the west to get to Orlando. Thing is, Brightline has their own tracks. They only have one set of tracks that goes to the west. So yeah, we're going by these crossings right now. Hey, crossings! We are in. Stewartish. No, we're we're more north than Stewart. Um, let's see where we are. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we are in uh, Vero Beach, and Vero Beach is really where the turn is to go to the um, to the west. No, I'm not gonna lie. I got the proportions all wrong from a boss here. I have run out of uh, champagne. And I still have orange juice, like half a bottle of orange juice. So I need more champagne to make my mimosa. So my mimosa's mimosa. That's all I'm saying. You know what's funny? We haven't even turned to the west yet, and I still have orange juice. And I ran out of champagne. And the person who's working here asked, "How many did you have already?" I said, "We're not talking about that." Drink 12. I don't know. We don't play with this. I don't understand the proportions of a mimosa. It's probably like drink 13, drink 14, but uh, for now, drink 12. We're still in. This is the part of Florida that's going to be built up real soon. Because everybody wants to live in Florida. I guarantee you in 5-10 years, there'll be Costco's here. There'll be Walmart's here. There'll be everything here. There's, right now, it's fucking swampland. But in 5 years, Costco, Walmart, everything like that. I do love that I have a whole table right here I'm supposed to be sharing with my table mate, which is uh, invisible. Literally, my favorite was the woman who has how many I had. <sighs> she don't understand the game, does she, baby? Uh, C-O-U. I mean, we're gonna go with 13 because I have fucking champagne. I have orange juice left. We're gonna go with 13. We got two more drinks we gotta get. Once we slow down, we go the other way, then we'll blow. I'm not going to leave you not blowing. It's how drunk can you get on the bright line for, I think this one, this run was $90. Uh, and the next run is $60. No. Ah, crap. Math. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Math is like, okay. Let me see. P-H-O. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Photos, favorites. All right, so the first run from, uh, oh, from Aventure to Orlando was $60. Yeah, $69 was the original fare, which I'm not paying more. I was just looking at what it costs to upgrade another, and then $90 is the, the second fare. Don't worry, it'll be stone cold sober, because we're going to the Kennedy Space Center after, but um, we're still in the middle of friggin' nowhere. Still headed north, because here's what you got to realize. Kennedy, where we're going, hold up. Kennedy, where we're going, is to the west. We're going northwest now, so we're not fully on the coast right now, but Kennedy, where we're going is to the west. Uh, we need to go to the west. I mean, no, we need to go to the east. Um, where we're going is to the west, the Orlando airport, but, um, yeah. The Moses? Anyone? There's some pulp here, too. Good. I don't even like mimosas. I feel like a basic white girl right now. Don't worry. When they say we're arriving in Orlando, I'll blow. I have right here. Right here. The breathalyzer. A police professional breathalyzer. That's not intentional with the spinning. So we'll see. A lot of storage here. That's up there. But again, still, there's really nothing out here an empty land which says move to Florida we'll build more land around you and we're slowing down why because I think we're about to go to the west stay tuned 11 drinks I'll be off there oh look at that pretty water 12 Someone asked me how many drinks I had, and I said, fuck you, does the Pope fudge, ki fudge kids? Uh, we'll see. I think we're about to get ready to turn west. Don't quote me on that. I want to show you the top speed. We'll see how much we get to. It's like 125, 130 miles an hour on the track that is fully owned by Brightline. Right now, this is shared with a freight train, but this is, uh, we're going to get onto a track that's going west. It's fully owned by Brightline. But we'll stop for a bit before then. Stay tuned. Hey, look, we're finally starting to get into civilization. I saw a high school out here. I mean, it looked like a high school or a school of some sort, but at the end of the day, uh, more, more Everglades. Florida, the Swamp State. We have not made the turn yet. I will tell you, we're in a, a town I've never heard of before. Let me tell you the town we're in. We're in, uh, oh. Malabar, Malabar, Florida, going fully north. We have not gone west yet, which we got to go west to get to Orlando. Remember, the whole point of the Brightline is connect Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, Orlando, and Miami airports. That's all the cool, the land. I say land. Oh, I see uh, habitation. There was houses there. We have trees built up around it. But there were houses there a few seconds ago. Um, now we're back to Swampland. The good news is I'm on my like fourth, fifth, something mimosa. I went back and I got two champagnes on top of the orange juice because I don't know the proportions. So we're like drink 11, 12. I mean, that's gotta be 12, hold on. That's 12. Oh, 13? Hmm. 13. We got two left. We just need a double to make it to 15. And we've had the most drinks on board as we should have on Carnival today. Oh, you guys, you guys saw the trailer park. Oh, look, trailer park. They'd have to evacuate in the in chance of a storm. I love trailers. Very limited risk, unlike actual land. I think I'll buy a trailer. Move it if you have to. There's a storm, a truck, look at that. Yeah, we're getting back into uh, habitation. From uh, no habitation to, oh look, there's houses, there's buildings. 
there's all that and very soon we will be heading west towards Orlando as the crow flies let me just tell you as the crow flies we are still uh, 75 miles from the Orlando airport as the uh, not even as the crows fly so uh, as the as the road follows uh, Orlando International Airport directions from uh, Terminal A one hour and three minutes by road I think it's a little different by train going at uh, what speed 88 oh god damn 86 oh we're about ready to go through time. We're gonna go back to the times when things were good. When inflation wasn't a motherfucker. And we can bet on Donald Trump becoming president. Again, again. <sighs> God damn. And now we're slowing down. But I think we're about to turn to the uh, west. And head towards the Orlando International Airport. Which this train will... Before it turns, it's right by Canaveral, and then it's got to turn because uh, ain't nobody want to be at Canaveral. They want to be at the Orlando International Airport. Oh, I got orange juice. I don't have orange juice anymore. Pulpy. Not gonna lie. Some of that. We gotta have two more drinks to get to 15 on this train. See you in a minute. So I thought about it, and I thought that the uh, ride back would be better to discuss the business performance of Brightline. Uh, make a whole another video on that in seven days. Um, the dark, and the drinks, and the, the Kennedy Space Center, and wherever I go to drink beforehand. I'm waiting for the October performance, but here's the thing. There's more and more people riding to Orlando, even though this car is empty. They're talking about the premium riders and everything like that, or what the normal riders are spending on food and drinks and that time. You don't have to ride it. You know, that's the reality. There's warehouses and stuff like that. We're in, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up my, I'm gonna open up my maps. Let's see where we are. We're in Melbourne. Oh, a place I recognize. We're going north in Melbourne, Florida. We've not gone west yet. West is where we need to go to make it to the Orlando International Airport. We're still, as the, uh, as the crow flies, hold on, one, no, hold on, one hour and four minutes away by road, so probably like 40, oh no, hold on, 55 minutes away by roads, just being stupid. Uh, uh, probably 55 miles away by roads. Reality, probably 50, 45 miles away by train. Which means we gotta have one or two more drinks before we, uh, we finish this. They're not coming around doing drink service. That's all I got. And I uh, hate to, hate to judge people that are doing their job or not doing their job. But, I mean, my mimosas have ceased to be it's the Eric Idle phrase uh, we need a uh, what do we need we need a double yeah we need two more to get to 15 drinks since 5 a.m. that's 8:44 a.m. I think we can do it what are we going double Tito's and soda come on guys double Tito's and soda double Tito's and soda so we're going with before we get to uh, Orlando um, but we're still we have not made that west turn yet that's where the train goes the fastest right now we're going uh, we're going 91 miles an hour but to get to 125 we got to be on those tracks that just bright line owns and uh, I mean it's going fast in 92 93 we're going over 88, so we can we can 94, so we can totally 95, 96, 97. Are we gonna break 100? 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. I took a screenshot. 
103. The guy who's driving this train is going to fuck. 104. 105. 106. I didn't give a fuck. 107. We're going to 125. Come on, guys. 108. 109. Once you slow it down, turn this off. I feel like we're slowing down. 109. It's like the fastest you go on the tracks. The bright line doesn't own. 109. Woo! It's like someone said, you can't go without 110. Oh, no, it was 110 a second ago. Come on. 109. Because there's no crossings here. So you can do that. Come on, give me 110. 110. 110. 110. No? There's like a limiter on the fucking train. It said 110 when I wasn't pointing to it. When I wasn't pointing to it, it said, it said, it said, oh, 108. Oh, shit. We're slowing down. Before we take that turn to the west. 107. Oh, 106. 105. 104. 103. Oh, this is sad. It's almost like we're going, uh, is that 92? We thought this was a good idea. We're doing so well. Now we're going 83. In the same clip. You know why? We gotta wait until we have a train to ourselves. A track to ourselves. Uh oh, what's us? We're gonna Attention stop. Attention all right line guests. We're gonna be slowing down. Possibly coming to a stop. Due to train traffic in the area. I know it's, really, it's gonna be back up momentarily. And thank you always for choosing right line and have a bright day. Oh, I can smell the rubber burn. We're gonna be coming to a stop. Oh, we are coming to a stop. Look at this. Total stop. You know why? Because the east to west track is only one track. It's on east to west going towards uh, Orlando International Airport. And we are going to a stop. Yeah, we're stopped. We literally went from uh, 100 and something miles an hour to zero. You know what that stands for? Grab another drink. That's what it does. Get rid of these drinks. I got empty, empty, empty. I got another drink. I do. Before we start going that extra, let's see how many we got. To the airport. The airport is... Terminal A is 49 miles away per the uh, the crow flies, which is the compass. We're in Rockledge, Florida, right before the turn to go to the west. We're going to the west, and are we starting again? No, no. Waiting for the train that's going from uh, west to east before we start. Oh no. Craven. We're craven. There's a there's a slight electrical smell of like electrical burning. I'm just trying to be honest with you. That's what's going on there. But uh, we are creeping back. I think we'll get back to the full speed in due time. But I still do need two more drinks or a double to make this uh, keep going all the way to the end. Fifteen drinks in one bright line ride. Stay tuned. All right, I like to let the people know at 9.03 a.m. we finally started going to the west. Uh, we have to go west to get to Orlando. We don't have to go west to get to Cape Canaveral, but uh, look at all this land. You're like, oh, there's no room in Florida. People turned around. There's room in Florida. Sorry, there's a lot of room in Florida. I'll be buying this land for pennies in the dollar because no one wants to live here. But, um, yeah, Florida's free. We're going to the west now, finally. Like you look, it's no longer northwest, it's purely west. We are going 278 degrees to the west, Cocoa, Florida. Eventually, we will make it to Canaveral. Yeah. Look at Dr. Shen.
we need to have one more drink before we finish. One more drink. And it doesn't matter if it's Corona or what, but we gotta have one more drink. Oh God. What is that announcement making? No, it's not. We're not that close. We still have about uh, 25 minutes till we're back at the board. We need one more drink, so. Then we've done 15 drinks to start this video. Yeah, we're good. One more. Then we'll be good for the whole day. Still got 15 left on Carnival. Once you board at like 11, it's 9. 9.05 a.m. I think the earliest boarding time is 10. My boarding time is like 1 o'clock, but I have priority, so, you know. Platinum! We'll see. Stay tuned. All right, so we have finished 15 drinks since the last time we put on this. It was almost a year ago, and they have tracks going the other way. When I was on here a year ago, it was one track per one way, but we are headed towards the Orlando International Airport. Uh, let me see. Hold on, compass. We're going to the west. We'll be going to the west. You know what that is? That is from the uh, the coast to Orlando. That's where Universal is, Disney is, SeaWorld is, Busch Gardens is, and there's housing developments popping up all over here. That doesn't look like a Bucky's, but it looks like a Bucky's. That's 7-Eleven. Eventually, it'll be Bucky's. You see all that empty housing there? That'll be housing soon. Because no one wants to live in the states where they have state sales tax. Sorry, but true. There's all those places. That, yeah, you'll pay property tax if you own a property. But um, no state sales tax. I'm going to be back in about two, God, uh, 15 minutes, maybe 25 minutes at the Brightline train station. Yeah, I have a friend pick me up there, but uh, yeah, it's been a unique ride. We'll talk on the way back about the business behind here, because I'm waiting for the October numbers to come out, and maybe it'll be another week till they come out, but it's amazing how much... Um, Brightline has grown between just servicing Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach County, and servicing Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County, and Osceola slash Orange County. These are, what we're traveling on right now, these are new tracks. Per the Brightline, these are new tracks. Oh, wait, JetBlue. Shit. I think we're getting close to the airport. I just start to pack up. See so you guys. It smells like fresh cut grass. Seriously. Like it's not a soaring trick from Disney or anything like that. It literally smells like fresh cut grass. So um, we've got to, uh, oh God, maybe five more minutes so we're back at the airport. Um, we'll hang out in the bar for the airport for a bit until our uh, ride comes pick us up. But uh, the airport's an interesting place. This is the airport area. We're already here. We're going, uh, at 100 feet elevation uh, speed. We're going at 32 miles an hour, so uh, you can tell we're, we're, near, we're where we need to be. There's a sad vodka bottle, but guess what? We got some more than 15 drinks. Pure. So, um, yeah, that's a win. I might see you guys outside. We're doing great. About 30 miles an hour or so. And we're making it to the MCO or the Orlando Airport. Stay tuned. See you in a bit. All right, so it is 9.25 a.m. And we, we will be arriving in Orlando shortly. That is the Orlando International Airport. We are um, we've gone to the east and up to Orlando, and we're going to go to the west to Port Canaveral. 
And I'm just trying to say we have a ride to Orlando to the east. There's even a sky chefs here. But I have done well more than 15 drinks. See outside. I want to wrap this up, but um, that is the ride from Aventura, Florida, which is 17 minutes from Miami, Florida all up the way up to Orlando, Florida with having as many drinks as you can have. I'm leave a nice tip for my uh, bartenders, not really. Uh, what are they, the drink tenders slash, I'll leave a nice tip for them. Um, but um, yeah, I'm getting off the train in a few minutes. You see right there. This is Richard from No Fans Promise reminding you but when you take a premium for $60, $60, and you have 15 drinks, that's not even covered the 15 drinks on Carnival. Coupon codes are a motherfucker from, uh, from Miami-ish, or between Miami and Fort Lauderdale, to Orlando, and you got no pants. You know what's the only thing you got left loose? Yeah. You see that right there? That? How's your shirt? Have a great one. You got any questions? Drop in the comments below or uh, Richard at nopantsrobbins.com or nopantsrobbins at gmail.com. See that right there? Straight in front of us. Hold on. That is the Brightline Terminal at Orlando. I don't know if we're going to make it there. I mean, for video. I don't know if we're going to. But that is the end of the motherfucking line. This is Richard from No Pants Rubbins. Reminding you that when you head towards uh, Orlando or Canaveral and you wear no pants, it's the only one thing you'll have to lose. You know what that is? That is your shirt. Have a great one. Any comments below? Nopantsprofits at gmail.com or Richard at nopantsprofits.com. Bye! Yep! And we're headed towards the end for now. Look, that's the end. We're slowing down. Just like we did in West Palm Beach. Welcome everywhere else. To Welcome Have to Orlando. Have a great day. Took a uh, little bit over three hours and three hours and ten minutes to get here. Just about what it should take. And we shall see you on the carnival Mardi Gras. Bye! Yep. Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard from No Pants Profits and I'm here with Imani. And Imani was on the same train as I was, right? The first yes. train north. Imani, let's be honest with you, with everyone. Um, How did you get on that train? You got drunk in Miami, didn't you? I got into a fight with my friend and I was being a smart aleck and I was like, cause she doesn't being mean to people and I don't like that. And I was like, I'm gonna take the train home. Okay, Fine. so you got on the train in Miami? And then can we can we can we put a spotlight? Four hours later? Can we put a spotlight on my guilty subjects? They have a chair. They have a chair. Wait, you have a chair. Hold on. They have a chair. That's got a pillow? And a blanket. It's and a very blanket. Soft. So how did you so you got on in Miami? Yes. At uh, four forty five in the morning? Too early, yes. It's I got like I literally I got, left I the club. A, so, so, so I got a, oh wait, which one? Space? Where were you on? No, I was at Blackbird. How did you want to go Blackbird? I love it. I love the music. I love the vibes. Second floor, first floor, third floor. Black I know, I know enough about Blackbird. Blackbird Ordinary? It has like a back room and a first room. Yeah, but there's a second floor in Blackbird. Is That's there? That's the club music. I, I don't like I don't like that. I like the I like, I like the Hispanic ghetto like boom yo, boom, de boom 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 boom. No, you lost no? me. I like te bote de mi vida te bote. I only know all the gasolina. Ya me tan gasolina y de canta la gasolina. Oh, I know. So my black high school. That's the only Hispanic song they ever played. Where'd you go, Hailey? HML. Rural Palm. Rural Palm Beach High School. So I went to, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm dating myself. I went to Crop Senior High, you know, on the Dade Broward County line. Okay. You familiar with Crop? Nope. I'm familiar with West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. 
so like PBI International Airport. I live so, so close wait, to it so that wait. the like the So you were supposed to get off at West Palm Beach, am I correct in that assumption? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Where are you now? I am in Orlando. Do you know what I'd like to say about Orlando? Orlando! No, no, no. Oh. I'm not going there. I'm oh. not going there. Oh. It's a fun time, but you won't want to stay there for more than a day. It has a name for a reason. I mean, your son is with his dad, right? So, I mean, there's no harm, no foul, right? Listen, and what are you I drinking? Was... What are you drinking? Colin, you said it's a double. A screwdriver. I don't even Wait. like vodka. That's vodka and orange juice? Yes. I, I bartended for a long time, so I'm very familiar with it. But... So I had I had a mosa on the train ride up. Champagne and they, gets me. They gave me a champagne, and they gave me a, uh, they gave me a vodka. And I had to go back and get four more champagne, not vodka. Uh, they, get, they they had to give me a My champagne. My mom is very concerned. <gasps> Your mom's like, why are you in Orlando? <laughs> Look at my baby. He's doing swim lessons. Already? Yes. He's like, he's almost five. So he, were you married or? No, I was 19 and dumb and didn't know what pullout was. No, no, your husband, your uh, baby daddy didn't know what pullout was. Yeah. I am a man that is uh, very familiar with the pullout method. You I hope so. You don't want to leave anything behind? <laughs> you don't. Because elsewise, what comes up? A nine month surprise, right? Sometimes, honestly, did you know, I learned in health class that it's only, like, even if you do ejaculate in a female, okay, there's only a 50% chance of her becoming pregnant. That's it? 50. And if, that's, if she's that's fertile. That's the one fact that stuck with me But that's if, if she's fertile. Is that is that permanent or is that hentai? I actually have eight tattoos. Eight? Eight. Do you, do you... Yeah. Wait, can I can I see yeah, this and make sure my headlights aren't out? Your headlights are, are, okay, are my headlights. hiding. My headlights are out. My headlights are not. Alright, so. so this one is just a snake. A snake. I just honestly I saw it and I liked it. But now okay. I don't know if this like compromises your channel at all. No, it doesn't. I My channel is love, ridiculous. I love the Lord. The Lord. God. Which one? God, Jesus. Which one? Jesus, okay. I, I have to say which one because there's a lot of yeah, gods. Yeah, a lot. You know? da, 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 da. But, I'm going to bring this up towards you a little bit more. Okay. I, I, I'm okay about you. So I love the Lord because he has literally... It's like Sunday services, Lord, right? I... So on Sundays, I take that as a Sabbath. Okay. That's like not a talked about like thing. Okay. And I, so like a Sabbath is supposed to be your rest, but praising the Lord. Like you're I resting for praising the Lord. So I go to 8.30 service. In the morning on Sunday morning. Yes. And then I serve at 10 a.m. So tomorrow, today is Sunday. I know what Saturday. I'm doing. Saturday. Saturday. So this is Saturday. Oh my God. I'm a horrible Saturday. Person. Saturday. It's 10 a.m. Don't worry. You'll make it home by tonight. It's it's because I'm having a rough day. So anyways, so at 8.30 I go to service. 10 o'clock I work with preschool. 11, 11 o'clock I work with first through fourth grade. Whatever grade needs a, a helper, I'll do. Okay. So what I is your background? Do... Are you in early edu educational preschool or? So I'm getting my degree in human services with a youth development concentration. Okay. But... I used to do like a service on Wednesday nights with the kids. Okay. But I discovered like I feel like middle school and high school is such a contra controversial age. I and agree. I, I had a teacher that in high school really changed my life. Like I really loved her. I played s a soccer with her. My family knew her outside of school. She's the one who like really made a difference. Okay. Between my whole entire school first grade teacher but first grade teacher is superficial but it's you just, know her last name right that's miss the... mrs garcia yeah it's it's very basic i sarah garcia if you're watching this right now in what county palm beach county 
Last I heard of you working at Palm Beach Central High School. You are the life changer for me and you are inspiring me to do what I did, what you did for me for other kids. So what do you do outside of education? Can I be so real with you? You can. I'm all kids all the time. I mean, if I was a guy and I said that, I'd get in fucking trouble. I don't like kids, but what do you do for kids? I work with behavioral kids. Are you, and I have are a you kid. a BCBA? No. You don't know what I mean? Yes. I am a paraprofessional and I work with emotionally, behaviorally disabled kids. So a lot of these kids are in foster care and things of that sort. But I I don't I I feel like my age is a benefit and this is something I often think about is like when I get older, am I gonna still have an impact on them? Like I hope I do because I people think I'm nineteen and I'm twenty five. I'm thirty seven. Okay. Yes, Look okay. at us. <laughs> so anyways, um, I, I look at that as like a benefit because I can I feel like I can reach kids because I feel like because I'm young they 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 feel more comfortable because my mom she she wasn't necessarily young she was 28 when she had me but she always made me feel very comfortable to come okay. to her so I want kids to feel comfortable to have someone I want them to have a safe space yeah and I, I like teaching I told this guy on the train this that I fell asleep on oh <laughs> were you drinking no. Not yet. All I drink was coffee. I think we should take shot. What do you think? Do you feel that? Or what, is that... what do you want a shot of? Tequila. No, I can. I will pay. I am. No, no, I got it. No, no, no. No, my my YouTube has it. We have a big YouTube. We're, I... doing, we're doing tequila. Hold on, I just make sure. So I have a ride. I have I have a I have a train. Not a train. Hold on. I'm a self-sustained woman. I hate like oh, it gives me the ick to make me think that like men think that they can take the care of me oh no there's there's none of this men take care of him it's like where is okay, my I train make sure my train is 10 50. i gotta find my train I'll, I'll get you back in a few seconds time you got on the ship in miami at uh, the ship the train the train at 5 like 30 a.m yeah around that time it was running late Yes, it was. It was. It was running late. And that still wasn't enough time for my circadian rhythm rhythm to catch up. Isn't that crazy? I love when I meet with random people. We're going to do a Casamigo shot. I don't want to leave you alone, but I have to catch a cruise ship. You know what I mean? What is your first name? Sorry. Imani. Imani. I don't have Instagram, by the way. No, it's for okay. all of you out there, I didn't like it. It was too much. I don't have That's Instagram all I can either. Say. That's Whispering Angel. That pink wine. And it's actually a Whispering Angel. It's all like, right. Shh, 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 shh. Are we ready? Oye, por de Dios. What's up? Can we take the a yellow out? No, quieres yellow? Si. Sí. Yeah. Gracias. I'm no, scared I'm going to choke on it. So she wants to water it down? No, I just want to take the ice out of it. Oh. I'm with you. <laughs> Are you? Because that's that. That's still some liquor. Look. I'll drink it. Wait, wait, wait. Can I pour it into this cup that has nothing without the ice? You gotta of course you can. Gracias. Eso es agua y tequila. Am on. Okay, ready? I got it. I'm just like. I'm concerned. You're not at all. I'm more concerned for you than my sleeping patterns. Oh, no, no. no. I have, I have no, a personal. No, I'm just joking. Okay. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa centro, pa dentro. Bejajo. What did you say? Arribo, pa centro, pa dentro, bejajo. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se dice? That's enough. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa centro, pa dentro. Iman, right? Imani. <laughs> oh, good gas. Just drop to me. Ooh. I have chest hairs at 10 a.m. Oh, I have chest God. hairs. 
I'm gonna drink some Miami. Respect. It was a great time. I think we had a blast. No pants. And Molly. I need some water. Thank God my name's not like Brittany or else he, you guys wouldn't know who I am. You might remember Imani. <laughs> you might not. We'll see you guys. Are you, growing, are you growing more chest hairs? <laughs> I am. Are they coming to your neck? <sighs> Hold on. See them? Yes, it's growing. You gotta get the camera shot on that. They're growing. I saw them growing. You guys make it back to Palm Beach by tonight? Ideally. Good luck. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful cruise. I can I can I just like finalize what this would be like? Of real course quick? you can. Please. Wait. I'm the captain. You must. You are the charge. captain. Take a tequila shot right now. And. And we met. What, what was it like? 35 minutes ago we met. Literally. But I. That's just me. Go and serve the Lord Jesus, bro. I love him. He really saved me. And I think he could do that for you. And what year was it? Recent or? Recent. Within the last year. After you had a kid and everything like that, Jesus yeah, saved you? Yeah, I was a horrible mom. I'm I'm not even going to like hold you. I was a trashy mom. I looked back on the mom I was and I was like, holy cow, you were a piece of shit. You did not pay attention to your kid. You cared more about yourself than anything. And now... Imani, respect. I have to get to my cruise. Love y'all. And uh, this is me and Imani coming to you from the Merry Merry Bar. In Mon Orlando, and Imani's getting back to or uh, getting back to Palm Beach, hopefully. Hopefully. And and my my channel is I don't wear pants. So when you wear no pants, when you I'll I'm not wearing you. pants. What's the only thing you have to lose when you wear no pants? Panties. Your shirt. Oh. You're wearing no pants. What do you have left? Your shirt. That the money. The alcohol. Please don't include the alcohol. Respect. And I'll see you. When I see you. All right, so we are in Port Canaveral, Florida, and uh, there's a thing called Go Port, which is uh, away from the port, but it's like a third of the cost of the port. It's a garage here. There's some uh, some flat parking here. You drop your bag. You take your bag. You put it in a bus. They bring it to the port. It's called Go Port. G O P O R T. I don't know if it's gonna get us the bag yet but uh that's really not my call the person who tagged with me has said this is the way to do it so uh we have bag number 40 and we're going to take a go for it there's a tesla charger there there's a, a bus there let's see what's left i don't have to board till three so i don't care but uh go for it is a way to uh go and for it that's all i'm saying stay tuned so yeah, if you're in Canaveral, instead of booking $145 a week, uh, you can go with GoPort, which is uh, $60 a week. They got a lot of spaces empty. That's the GoPort. That's who picked me up at the uh, station. Um, that's good. Yeah. So it's only 40 bucks. Uh, no, uh, 60 bucks for a week. Instead of uh, 140 bucks per week, go go uh, go port. Sorry, I've been drinking since the train. Go port is the way to go. So go port. They park your car right here. I don't know how far we are from the port. We'll see. But I have a priority tag on my bag, and we'll see what we get from there. So stay tuned. Hey there. I'm not gonna lie. I felt way too drunk to care. Uh, it told me 5 to 10. I think that's right. I'm too drunk to care. Um, don't do what I did. Don't get that drunk. Don't care what I do to get on board. I gave the guy a $20 bill and I said, uh, yeah, cool. We're going this way. 
There's a whole bunch of bags going on board. Don't pass out on the truck. On the bus. On the truck. Yeah. This is me. This is me telling you. Don't do it. Take a nap. But uh, there's a place to go here. If you take a nap. 12 to 10. I'm gonna find my bags. I'm gonna take a nap. Sorry guys, see you soon. Bye. Alright, so I drank way too much here. But we have the uh, arrival appointment priority. Huh. Which is uh, 12 to 10. Bad idea. Don't do this when I do. Um, but uh, with the my priority check in, I have 20 bucks. And they uh, got my bags on board, so you hear that guy? Can we go through the door on the left? All right, there? thank you. So we're gonna go through this door on the left. I don't even know who picked me up. I passed the hell out here, um, but uh, somehow wedding guests. I don't know. Terminal three, Port Canaveral, twelve. Two, three, two. Um, there seems to be a check in here. To the walls. To the sweat drop down my balls. All oh, them bitches crawl. It says window. We're gonna see. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, look. I'm not gonna lie. It is 12:13. Uh, I'm not supposed to sport till two. I'm obliterated. But I was like, oh, okay. Let's drink on the train. Let's get on board. I had a friend take me on board. He took a nap. I took a nap. We got on board when we did. But it's uh, 12, 15, 13, and uh, we're good. Uh, they do a good job here. I'm gonna get on the ship. 12, something, 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 to my pocket. We'll see you on board. Sorry. Good port. I will tell you, as I've said before, um, the magic trick is to get to get services before you get on board. I don't know if there's a platinum line, but to get there before you get on board, hello, uh, and get everything uh, settled up. Um, there's also a thing that says captain's lounge. I have no idea what that means, but you know what? I'm fucking going for it. No, we not. Uh, I'll see you guys on board. The Carnival Mardi Gras. Hopefully. Stay tuned. You know what? Probably you were like, oh, don't come from Miami. Don't go on a Nahan celebration ship. You know what? I made it here. Give my last name and I'm getting on board. I think my bag is going to get here. Who the hell knows? Um, gave him my bag. Gave the guy 20 bucks with my bag. I think he'll make it there. But um, there's a place to get on board right there. We're getting on the Carnival Mardi Gras. This is like the celebration for the Jubilee. This is the Carnival new ship. I'm here because I want to try everything. I fell asleep on the bus for an hour. I'm not gonna lie. Because I drank too much on the boat. And uh, the sucks relatively quiet. So uh, I'll see you guys on board, hopefully. So you come with me, and I'll see you on board. Hey, look. For those of you who are in the uh, carnival uh, late boat thing, I'm on the carnival celebration. This is late, 12, 21, I'm on board. Security's like, ah, this guy's on board. I'm gonna find my room. room. Then I will uh, take you guys around. But this is, uh, I want to call it, I really want to call it FC Celebration Central. I know it's not Celebration Central, but again, I want to call it Celebration Central. I'll see you when you get to your front board. So Richard, from No Pants Profits, reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. Oh wait, hold on. Hold up, hold up. There's a bar here. I told it was good. I was told it was good. It was a Mardi Gras bar where the uh, 
Fortune Teller Bar. Fortune Teller Bar. That's a French Quarter. Oh, this is my first time on this ship ever. Oh. That's the bar. I've been told it's good to go to. It's over here on Jubilee Mardi Gras. It's like they figured it out. I'll see you guys. Oh, look. And the evil pumpkin captain, pirate, as part of the board. Have a great one. And I will see you on board. Have a great one. And I'll see you on board. Oh, good God. Woo. Pretty much. Bye. And look at the evil pumpkin captain has said. Bye. See you on board. Bye. I'm never already on board, but see you soon at the Fortune Teller Bar. Opening soon. As far as I'm concerned, this is literally the number one reason I came to this ship is for this bar right here. Hopefully, I'm not wrong. We are our unique on the Carnival Mardi Gras. If you know, there's a guy, it's an evil pirate. Who's uh, they call him Jack. He's a uh, captain of the Mardi Gras. And if not, there's this place called the Fortune Teller Bar. I'm so lucky for it. <laughs> Honestly, you're like, why did Richard drag thousands of miles or hundreds of miles? <laughs> thousands of miles, hundreds of miles. Out. I have been told the Fortune Teller Bar is the best bar on the carnival ship. And I have 15 drinks there. Find a little nap beforehand. This is Richard from No Pants Profits. Reminding you that when you go through carnival security and you come on board their ship and you wear no pants, what's the only thing you're allowed to lose? That is your shirt. And I shall see you coming up soon. In, oh, I'm going there right after it opens. Uh, Fortune Teller Bar. I want a bog juice. I want a bog juice. And I will see you there. That's got to, uh, that's got to kiwi drink and everything like that. I'll see you there. But um, that ends the journey of getting here. And we'll see what comes further on board. And it's uh, 1226, not even 1230. And I'll see you on board. Have a great one. Bye. All the way from Miami. Aventura. Bye. All right, so we have 112, 210. That's our room. We're gonna take a look at it. I don't know what we have a look at. Going oh, through. Seeing you there, 112, 210, is the, oh, oh, it's a forward balcony, hold on, 112, 210, probably the best room I've ever had, holy shit, it's a front of balcony, sweet, holy crap, I'm not against that. That's a good room. 112, 210, let's see the crew bar. Front of balcony, or anything like that. Oh, fantastic. I'll see you guys around. One, two, two, one, zero. Look at that. That's great. Slept in the bus for a bit. Let's me see exactly what I want to see.